what is up guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can scrape emails from instagram automatically using make.com let's get started to scrape emails from instagram i'm going to use this tool called appify appify is an incredible tool that you can use to scrape any website or automate projects so go ahead and create an account on appify and then after creating an account head over to store then here we're going to enter the website that we'd like to scrape in our case we like to scrape instagram so i'm going to search for instagram then click on search you will see 98 tools that you can use to perform a certain action on instagram you can be able to scrape instagram profiles instagram posts instagram hashtags reels apis comments followers mentions videos leads location likes and comments but in our case we like to scrape emails from instagram so the tool that i'm going to use is this tool right here the e instagram email scraper i'll click on this tool in this tool you can scrape emails from instagram specific profile from search engine based on your keyword so here you'll add the keyword that you'd like to scrape emails for example we can say we'd like to scrape e emails from fashion keyword so here i'll add fashion is our keyword then here you can choose to add location if you want to you can add our location as united states the social network you can add instagram here you can choose to add email types or you can add emails with certain domains over here now to scrape emails using this fashion keyword in this location i'll click on start we're going to rent our actor you can see we are being offered only one day free trial so now to scrape emails from instagram i'm going to click on rent an actor then here i'll click on save and start you can see that our tool is running and it's scraping emails from specific instagram accounts in our defined location so here you can see the emails that we are scraping the username of the account that we scrape the emails and then we can see the information right here so we're getting the description, the number of their followers, and their Instagram account link over here. I'm going to click on about to abort our run. So we can choose to set up an automation on make that will automatically scrape the emails for us and add the emails to a Google spreadsheet. On make, I've created a scenario that I've renamed to scraping emails from Instagram automation. Then here, I'll search for AppFi. And then here, I'll click on run an actor module. Here, you'll need to connect your Appify account to make.com. To do that, just click on add. Then here, you'll rename your connection and add your API token right here. To get the API token on Appify, click on settings. Then click on API and integration. And then here, you'll find your personal API token. So all you have to do is just copy it and then paste your API token right here. And then click on save. But since I had already created a connection, I'm going to choose my connection right here. Here, we'll choose our actor. Our actor is Instagram email scraper. I'm going to choose to run synchronously. And then here, we'll need to input our JSON. Then here, you'll see where it says manual or JSON. Now click on the JSON. And here, we'll copy our JSON. And then format our JSON using a JSON format at all. So here, I'll paste our JSON and then to format our JSON, I'll click on process. And then after our JSON has been formatted, I'll copy it on make. I'll paste our JSON right here. I'll click on OK. We are scraping emails from Instagram. So I'll rename it to Instagram email scraper Then click on OK. After we've scraped our emails, we'll add another module that will get the data that we just scraped using this tool right here. So here, I'll search for Appify. And I'm going to use the get dataset item module right here. Here we'll need to add our dataset ID, which will be the default dataset ID right here. And then here we can choose a limit. So we like to limit it to 10, then click on OK. We can rename it to get scraped emails. And click on OK. After we've scraped our emails using our Appify tool right here, and we've gotten our emails, we can choose to add the emails to a Google spreadsheet. On Google Sheet, I've created a spreadsheet that I've renamed to Scraping Sheet. On this sheet, 
I have emails, Instagram username, description, and Instagram profile URL as the columns on our spreadsheet. You can see right here, I've renamed our spreadsheet to Instagram script emails. So we're going to add our emails right here, the username, the description, and the Instagram profile right here. So on make, I'll search for Google Sheet module. And then here, I'll click on add a row module. Yeah, I'm going to search for my spreadsheet. Our spreadsheet is called Scraping Sheet. The sheet name, I'm going to choose Instagram script emails as our sheet name. And then here, we can run our module first, then we come and fill in the values right here. So here, I'll unlink it. And then since we saw that the fashion keyword was such a broad keyword, we can add another keyword like automation. I'll click on OK. And then I'll run automation to scrape Instagram emails using the keyword automation. Yeah, you can see that our tool ran successfully. Here we scraped emails from Instagram profiles. And then here, so you can see the 10 emails that we scraped. For each of our account, we're getting their email, their title, the description. In the description, we're getting their followers, their bio, and their profile link. And we are doing the same for the 10 emails that we scraped right here. The reason why we're getting 10 emails is because we limited our emails to 10 over here. And click on OK. Now, we can go ahead and add our emails to our Google spreadsheet over here. So here. Then for the emails, I'm going to add the value for the emails, which is this email right here. For the Instagram username, we're going to add the title. For the description, we're going to add the description. And then for the Instagram profile URL, we're going to add the link over here. And then click on OK. Now here, you can rename this module to scraped emails. Then click on OK. Let us run our automation again and add the scraped emails to our sheet right here. This time around, we can choose to limit it to, let's say, 20. And then click on OK. Yeah, I'll run automation again. You can see that automation ran successfully. We scraped our emails from Instagram profiles that use the keyword automation. Then we got our emails right here. We got a total of 14 emails. Then we added the emails to our Google spreadsheet right here. On our Google spreadsheet, you can see our emails that we scraped using our automation right here. We have a total of 14 emails. Here we are adding their emails, their Instagram profile username, the description right here, and their Instagram profile URL. Here, we are hard coding our keyword. We can also create another spreadsheet that we are going to add our keywords, like this spreadsheet that I just created right here. I've created a new spreadsheet that I've renamed to Instagram keywords, where I have only one column, which will add the keywords that we would like to use to scrape emails using one of the keywords right here. For example, we can scrape agencies that offer copywriting services and Google Ads services. Now, to scrape those agencies and add the information to our Google spreadsheet right here, I'll click on Google Sheet. Then here, I'll watch new rows. This will be our trigger on the spreadsheet. I'll find our sheet, our spreadsheet is called scraping sheet. Our sheet name, we like the Instagram keyword sheet. And then we can limit it to two, then click on OK. Yeah, we can choose from all. Then click on OK. We can run this module and see if we're going to get our keywords. So here we're getting our keywords right here. Now, on our scraper tool, sort of hard coding our keywords, we can add the keywords from our spreadsheet. And click on OK. I'll rename this module to Instagram keywords. And click on OK. And then here, we can choose to limit it to 10. Then click on OK. Now to scrape emails of agencies offering copywriting services and Google Ads services and add the emails to a Google spreadsheet. Yeah, I'll choose where to start first and then choose on all and click on OK. And then I'll run automation.
So you can see that it scraped emails from Instagram accounts. They use the keyword copywriting and then added the accounts to a Google spreadsheet right here. So you can see the 10 accounts that we added. And now it's scraping emails from Instagram profiles using the second keyword, which is Google Ads. Let us wait until it's done. And here you can see now it's scraped emails from Instagram profiles using the second keyword, which was Google Ads. Then we got our emails right here. You can see these emails, they contain Google Ads in the description. Then we added the emails to a Google spreadsheet over here. When we open our Google spreadsheet, you can see the, the emails that we added to our spreadsheet. So here we have a total of 35 emails. So we have the 14 emails that we scraped earlier. So here, you can uh, insert a new row above to separate the emails of each keyword. You can see the 20 emails that we scraped using our automation right here for both keywords. This is a simple automation that you can create right now and automate the process of scraping emails from Instagram and add emails to a Google spreadsheet that looks similar to this one right here using the simple automation on make.com. If you have an automation or a system in mind that you'd like for me to create, just comment down below in the comment section. I read all the comments. And if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire automation or system from scratch. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.